Xin chào, mừng tất cả các em đã quay trở lại với chương trình Tiếng Anh lớp 11 Và hôm nay chúng ta sẽ tiếp tục tiết reading của bài 7 Further Education Now, let's start with Further Education reading Now, in the reading today, we will study about preparation for higher education And the first activities of preparation for higher education is making table Reading. Preparation for higher education. 1. Look at the table of the British state when education system. You can make a similar table for the education system of Vietnam. Now, can you make a similar? So you can see that Vietnamese state when education a system and as you can see, foundation school, foundation stage, nursery reception, and age from 3 to 4, from 4 to 5, the common entrance, and case stage number 1, when you study in primary school, so year from number 5 to 6, year 2 from number 6 to 7, and common entrance. And I think that it is similar in Vietnam, and case stage number 2, from years number 4 and 5, uh, 6, and we have a common entrance and secondary school we have a PhD stay from year 7 11 to 12 and years 8 from 12 to 13 and years 9 from 13 to 14 is common entrance and case day number 4 a GCSE when you studied in years 10 years 11 yeah okay from at the age of 14 to 15, and at the age of 15 to 16. Yeah, I think that it is similar in Vietnam. We continue activity two, choosing. British, two, quickly read the text. Choose the best heading for it. Now, you can see that we read the information in the United Kingdom there are many opportunities for students who wish to continue their education after finishing secondary school. Not only British students but also students from all over the world have been pursuing UK higher education qualification, bachelor degrees, master degrees and doctorate. And you can see that hmm, an alternative to the A-level is the IB Diploma program which provides qualification in six or seven subjects among which mathematics, native language and theory of knowledge are mandatory. For example, a student who first language is not English needs to take an English language test like IELTS, International English Language Testing System, before applying to any higher education courses. And as you can see in the reading passage, you choose the heading is preparing for higher education in the UK. Press on submit button to check your answers. Now we continue activity three matching. Three match each of the words with its meaning using a dictionary if necessary. Now, read through number 1 to 5 and from A to E and match. First one, pursue. Pursue what? D, follow something and try to achieve it. Appreciate. Number 2, you match with C, recognize the good qualities of something. Respectively, it is E because in the order mentioned, uh, mandatory is that A, Required by rules and regulation, but book and burden is only increased knowledge or experience. Nâng cao, mở rộng. Now let's move to activity four: true, false, or not given. Four. Read the text again. Decide if the following statements are true, false, or not given. Take the correct box. Now, read from 1 to 5 and decide 
First one, in the UK, there are many opportunities for students to pursue vocational education. So, the first one, the writer doesn't mention. Two, only British students are allowed to pursue higher education in the UK. No funds, that is, uh, the funds information. Number three, mathematics and chemistry are compulsory subject for the A-level qualification. And as you can see, you require three or four subjects like mathematics, chemistry, biology, geography, history. Okay, so number three, funds. Number four, after finishing their A-levels, students have to take part in the IB diploma programs. So number four is funds. Number five, students whose mother tongue is not English have to take an English language test. Yeah, okay? Because you can see that students whose first language is not English need to take an English language test like IELTS. And IELTS stands for International English Language Testing System. Now, press on submit button to check your answers. Now, let's move to discussion. Discuss how you can prepare for higher education in the UK. And you can see that. Do you know the school years in the UK is organized? What are the common times of examination in the UK? How are some of the best universities in the UK? How can you find the most appropriate course for you? And what kind of skills do you need? We've just finished reading of Unit 7, Further Education. At home, learn by heart own vocabulary, review information in reading, and prepare the next lesson, speaking. And in the speaking, we'll study the types of further education. Don't forget to access IC Books to practice. Thanks for your listening. Goodbye.